everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy and today we will have an updated version of our uh, famous TAPS quick win. So the last video for the implementation of an Ionic 4 TAPA is outdated since I think beta 18 or so. So this is now uh, the new video using the uh, yesterday, no, two days ago released Ionic 4.0 version. So let's do this. Um, I've created a blank new project and the first thing we're gonna do is it's still called Ionic of course um, Generate a page inside the pages folder that we call uh, tabs and then we will add as well um, two tabs to our tabs page and we will do it a bit different than before so just to mix up things a bit uh, we will use the tab one again and we will also use the uh, tab 2, but we will not use an additional module. Uh, so go ahead and create tab 2 as well. And then we can also get rid of the home folder already. And we should mute our notifications when we record a video. So we got tabs, we got tab 1, tab 2, home is anyway gone. And then we will also add a details page. Uh, to which we might navigate uh, at the end of this video. So for now, um, we can also remove this. We will only have the empty path, which will load our current uh, tabs module. All right, so previously we had inside the tabs module another routing module, uh, which we don't actually need. So just run Ionic Surf. And then we can go directly to the roots of the tab module and create our tab routing in here, which actually got a lot easier. So what we do is let's call this one tabs in here. And then we got the component tabs page, of course. And then we also got the Ionic Surf as well ready. So there we go. Um, in here we can now define the children for this tabs page uh, so here goes the information for the two tabs that we want to display on our screen uh, previously we had named router outlets those are gone uh, which is actually a lot easier now especially also for the site menu and also combining site menu and tabs uh, everything got a lot easier so our app will currently navigate to the tabs page module as we're starting with the empty page. And then therefore, as the path is actually called tabs, uh, let's do a little redirect in here. So for the empty path, which will actually get us here, we want to redirect to, uh, let's say, maybe tabs slash tab one. So this should show this one in the beginning. And also let's make this path match full so we don't match any other paths that we don't want to match. All right, this is actually the uh, complete setup for the routing that we need to display our two tabs. So let's dive into our tabs page. And on this page, um, the only thing we need is ion tabs. And if you have done it with the beta before, it actually got a lot easier. So we go ahead with the ion tab bar and we define a slot for this, just like we did for uh, icons and other things that we inject in those web components. Uh, so here the slot is bottom. Of course, you could also have it at the top of your app. And then inside this ion tab bar, we define ion tab buttons and we just say, this is tab one and this is now actually enough to connect our tab and the view and everything that we got to this tab. Okay. Um, I'm not sure who did this in the background and why they didn't do it before because this is amazing and super easy to implement. So now you could go ahead and simply add a new icon here. Let's call this one sunny. We used this before as well. And then the ion label tab one so we can identify it now for the second tab guess what tab two uh, moon and tab two and i think we can leave our two tabs here let's compare i always want to use this all right 
So let's see if we can bring this up again. And previously we had hrefs on the tab elements and a lot of crazy things actually. So let's hope things already work. Cannot find module home. That seems uh, pretty legit. I don't know where home is actually used. Is home anywhere used? Shouldn't be the case. Um, maybe the reload uh, was a bit off when I created those pages and already I uh, used the other things in here. So we can maybe already continue with the functionality we had previously, which was assigning an additional click to this button. Um, so sometimes you want to catch the events of a button. Therefore, let's do this. Uh, and this has now become simply the click events. So tab to select it. And if we put this into our tabs page and do a little poor man's logging. So I am here. We should pretty soon be able to see it, especially if our app compiles and could not resolve. Um, yeah, ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. You should not copy the path from a folder that's uh, at the different level than what you uh, want to do. So now we see. All right, we are on tabs tab one, which means the first tab is open and we can see it from the header and we can switch to tab two and we get the lock right here. So this is so easy. We have created just the routing information for those two tabs with a parent component um, and we use the path of those components as the ion tab button tab. That's the magic of a tab bar and actually everything you need to do. So now you could go ahead and add a third tab, a fourth, and simply add them to the tab bar. Everything works perfectly. But we have also um, created the details page, I think. So therefore, let's copy this and make this the details path. And this should go to details, uh, details, and then the details page module. And we also want to um, be able to navigate from one tab to the details. So in that case, um, well, I hope we can simply, um, let's see how we do it in the best possible way. Um, let's just try to copy this one and call this tab one details. And this should again, display details, details, and the details page module. And on the details page module, let's just real quick at ion buttons slot start. Um, ion, I think it's back button. So we can go back to our previous page and the default href uh, is actually tabs, tab one like this. Okay, uh, I'm not sure if this will work. I actually haven't tried this before. So fingers crossed. And in here a button with a little click event. So this should uh, open details in tab uh, for which we um, could use the router or for the other one, we could also, there's so many ways to do things with the Angular router. It's amazing sometimes. So this would be open details with tab bar. And then I also want to open details without tab bar. And for this one, um, I think we could use the router link. So this should be, what did we say? Oh, just details. Okay, but I think if we now navigate to details, I don't know if we will get the back button, but we've set the default href, so perhaps things might work. Uh, for this one, we could also use a router link, but let's do two different things more interesting. So we could also use the router from our TypeScript file. So import, and then this.router 
navigate by URL tabs tab one uh, details or maybe we could also use a relative path but for now let's give this a try and I'm pretty sure it won't work because things never work when I do them on the fly okay we're on tabs tab one details the tab bar is visible oh Jesus it just works I've done it correctly oh good I think you just witnessed something that never happened before I always have my code uh, set up before and um, basically know what I'm typing and I just did this and it just works so that shows Ionic 4 is awesome a tab bar is easy and the routing is also amazing we see the path and everything just works all right let's finish the video right here with this positive energy and um, the knowledge that we accomplished great things using Ionic 4 uh, to implement the tab bar. I've got also another video on the site menu and combining tabs and site menus, so that should cover all the basic things for you. If you got any questions, um, make sure to check out my Ionic Academy, which is the perfect place to get started with Ionic and the place where I would love to answer all your questions in detail in our private community. So check it out, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon for more great Ionic videos.